Have you noticed your headlights are not as bright as they used to be? Or have you found yourself putting the high beams on so you could see better at night? Or do you find it hard to see when it's raining? Matter of fact, have you even seen your headlights lately? Do your headlights look like this? Or like this? Or maybe like this? Well, then it's time to clean your headlights. Today we are going to be working with three different sets of headlights in order to test out all our different hacks and to see different results in different headlights. Welcome back ladies and gents. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video is all about how to restore headlights with household items. That means that after watching this video, you'll be able to grab whatever items you have in your house and clean those headlights. I'm going to be showing you seven different hacks in order to tackle this job. You may have seen one or two of these hacks, but I will assure you that there are many items in your house that you have no idea that could clear those headlights. Today we are also going to learn how it works, why it works, and how long it could truly last. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. The reason why your headlights start to look hazy and yellowish is actually because of the material they are made of. Car headlights are made out of polycarbonate plastic which tends to oxidize when exposed to sunlight, UV rays, high temperature, moisture, and oxygen. So now before we begin restoring our headlights, make sure to clean them. You could do some Windex, glass cleaner, or whatever you're going to use in order to clean them. So that way we can have the best results. Our first household item hack is going to be WD-40. WD-40 is a mineral oil which hydrates the dryness of the headlight. And since this product is petroleum based, it gives the appearance of a much cleaner and clearer headlight. Out of all hacks, this is probably the least lasting one. Since it actually it just masks the cleaning. It doesn't actually clean it, but it's a great way for the appearance that it is clean. All you need to do is apply some in a rag. And since it's petroleum based, it actually has the appearance of it being clean. And as you can see, it looks like if it was brand new. Now this is only gonna last maybe a couple of days or maybe a week until actually that little oil, it wears off. Now you could definitely use this as a quick treatment. If you want your headlights to be ready and clean for the night or the weekend, this is the most go-to hack. It would actually take you just seconds in order to clean those two headlights. For our next hack, we are going to use Coca-Cola to restore headlights. Now Coca-Cola has two main ingredients that will help us to restore the headlights, which is carbonated water and phosphoric acid. Now carbonated water is going to allow to dissolve the oxidation on the acrylic. And as some of us may know, Coca-Cola is a well-known rust remover in a variety of materials. Now phosphoric acid also gives it a rust bursting power, which is going to help for the, the oxidation. Now, compared to any rust remover, Coca-Cola doesn't contain as much phosphoric acid as some other rust removers out there. Therefore, the longer that is in there, the better that is gonna work. I went ahead and I put the Coca-Cola in a spray bottle so it could be easier to apply. Now, just spray your headlights. So in order it could last that longer, we are going to use a towel paper and apply some in there. Now we're going to leave this there for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow it to work. For our next hack, we are going to use baking soda to restore our headlights. Now in order to apply the baking soda, we're going to go ahead and create a paste. So we're going to put it here and then add some water. After we have the paste ready, 
we're just gonna go ahead and start planning. Baking soda is probably one of the most cost-effective methods we are doing today. The reason why baking soda is great to restore headlights is because baking soda actually absorbs the oxidation and it is a natural buffing agent which helps clean up the headlights. Now look at this. You see how dirty that is? That's the oxidation coming out. Now we're gonna go ahead and just clean it. This is just plain water. And we're gonna rub it just one last time. And finally dry it out. Now one thing to notice, as you saw when I applied the water, it made it a lot more clear. Now as our last step, I'm going to show you how to make it even more clear and how to make it last longer. Now we're going to use toothpaste which is a well-known hack to clean the headlights. Now the reason why toothpaste works, it actually acts as a mild abrasive which often contains baking soda. This abrasive action works wonders removing scuffs and stains in a variety of materials such as walls, toilets, sinks, and even your shoes. What toothpaste does, it actually is going to buff the small scratches. Now once you choose the toothpaste, Make sure that it's an actual paste because the gel contains additives and it may stain your headlight. Now we're gonna go ahead and brush our headlights. And look at how much oxidation is actually taken out. You can see how dirty it is. This way we could tell it's working. Now we're going to go ahead and clean it off. Look at this. Now as you can see, it definitely clear it a lot better than what we had before. But we're going to go ahead and give it a second pan and clean it off again to see if we could have a little better results. After the second pass with the toothpaste, I could see that it did clear a little bit better. So far, it actually has been 20 minutes since we were testing different hacks. And we're gonna see how it actually works. This is plain water. And we could see how it did clean it. And we have some oxidation in the towel. So Coca-Cola, not bad at all. Now when it comes to this headlight only, we had toothpaste, baking soda and coca-cola either way all three methods work and as you can see it's a lot more clear than the place that we didn't clean our next household item is going to be white vinegar now white vinegar is not just for cooking in case you didn't know, white vinegar is also a very powerful natural cleaner and a great disinfectant. Now white vinegar is made out of acetic acid. The acetic acid nature in vinegar is so powerful it can dissolve mineral deposits, dirt, grease, and grime. So we are going to use this in order to break down the oxidation of this headlight. So we are going to go ahead and apply it here. We have in the middle our test to see the difference that we have. And in the other side, we're gonna go and leave it for the next household item. For this hack, I'm going to go ahead and put the vinegar in this bottle so it could be easier to spray. In order to restore these headlights and clean it better, we need a two-step process when it comes to vinegar. First, we are gonna go ahead and spray it. And we're gonna wipe it off. Then we're gonna grab a towel paper and just roughly put it to size and we're gonna leave it 
there for 30 minutes. Make sure to check it back and forth to make sure that it's not dry and to be to leave it fully extended in there so you could work the process throughout time. For our next hack to restore headlights, we are going to use these three items, which are baking soda, white vinegar, and hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide is known as a great bleaching agent, as well as a great oxidizer. Now, the nature of these three household items makes a powerful combo to restore our headlights. Instead of using water, we are going to use hydrogen peroxide to make our paste. Now we're going to grab our paste, start applying it, and then we're going to start rubbing it in. Following the rub down with the microfiber towel, start applying the baking soda and the hydrogen peroxide paste directly to the headlight. And this time, spray some vinegar against the paste, waiting a few seconds to allow the chemical reaction to do its thing. Then, start rubbing it down with a toothbrush. The bubbles that you see here are carbon dioxide, which are the results of a set of different chemical reactions created by the vinegar and baking soda. Now hydrogen peroxide creates a different set of chemical reactions, which it gets a little complicated for me to explain the whole thing. But basically, when you see the bubbles, it's because carbon dioxide is created when this mixture is happening. Now we're gonna go ahead and leave this for 10 minutes. For our final step, after our waiting period, we're gonna go ahead and buff it off with just plain water. Now go ahead and rinse it off and wipe it down. For our final results, we could tell that it did clean the headlight. Now this has to be the headlight that it was the most, that had the most oxidation. As you can see, the comparison to that one and the one that we just cleaned. It definitely made a major difference. After waiting for nearly about an hour, we're going to see the results that we have with the vinegar only. So let's go ahead and rub the vinegar one last time and clean it off. Put some plain water to clean all that vinegar off. And as you can see, we have some oxidation from the headlight in our towel paper. Now, as you can see, the vinegar did clean the headlight in comparison how it was before. Now, this has to be the more severe headlight that we had with oxidation so far, but it did its job. That's how it looks now. And something like that was what it looked before. So we could definitely say that it did clean it. Now, what do you guys think it looks better? The vinegar by itself or the combo? Leave me those comments down below and see what you think. To me, they look pretty similar. Going back to where we started, our last household hack is going to be Magic Eraser. Now, the way the Magic Eraser cleans in a microscopic level is truly amazing and fascinating, quite complex. And it's a little bit hard for me to explain how it actually works. So I'm gonna leave you guys a description down below if you guys wanna know how the magic eraser works on a microscopic level. And I am also going to leave you all the links of all the products that I'm using today for restoring the headlights. On a summary, the way that a magic eraser is activated 
is with water. And it actually acts like a fine signed paper. And unlike a detergent that breaks down the stains, the magic eraser actually is using tiny air packets to scrape the stains off. Now all we need to do for this hack is apply some water and just clean it off. And as you can see, the oxidation is actually visible on the magic eraser. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it a clean. The magic eraser is an effective method to clean oxidation from your headlight lens. And as you can see when water is applied, the lens is actually clear. Look at how clear it looks with water. When the water dries, you will see the lens hazy. And that is because at this point, the lens either needs to be polished or clear coating. If you don't want to deal with the clear coating your lens, you can simply polish your headlight with plastic polish, car polish, aluminum polish, and basically any type of polishing compound will do the trick. In a few moments, I will show you how the clear coat will look. As you can see, the magic eraser did clean it just a little bit, but not as close as obviously the WD-40. The WD-40 looks amazing, even though that's just temporarily. But on all our tests, in order for the headlights to actually have a long lasting result we need to put a clear coat in them and what we are going to use is this now this type of clear coat is actually for plastic and is a fast drying non-yellowing and is UV resistant which is very important now obviously in order for me to apply this I actually have to clean all the headlights, not only from my car, but actually from the two other cars that we had and we did the test on. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the headlights and then I'm gonna put the clear coat. I'm gonna show you guys all the results. Woo! Okay guys, what a job. Just to apply this clear coat, I had to cover the whole car and just leave the headlights exposed after I finished cleaning them but I don't think I had enough time because as you can see it's about to rain anyways this is the final look on the headlights I chose to clean them with baking soda as far as this one as you can see on the inside it has moisture so it, I didn't put any clear coat on this headlight in particular. So let me know if you guys want to know how for me to show you how to clean moisture out of your headlights and how to find out without having to remove the lens. Let me know that in the comments if you want me to show you. And look at these other headlights guys. This definitely from this car actually looks like new. And with this clear coat, this is actually going to last about two, three years, maybe four, depending on the conditions of where you have your car. Whether you park it on the sunlight or whether you actually have it parked on a garage. Now let me know what you guys think. And like I said, on this one, this hella right here was the one that I didn't apply the clear coat. And you could clearly see how the headlight doesn't look as shiny as all the other ones since it didn't have this this clear coat actually is a gloss clear coat which gives it the appearance very very similar how we had with the WD-40 but only difference is that this is actually permanent once again let me know what you guys think which one would you choose which one you have experience with let me know down in the comments if you like the content of this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and for more automotive tips tricks diys and n54 content go ahead and subscribe baby see you on the next